I think it's wicked in a way to be a victim. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, and Robert Moses was absolutely powerful. He wanted to wipe the slate clean, start all over again. I say that you have a cancerous growth there that has to be carved out. I first began looking into city planning and housing. It was unbelievably awful. Insane. We didn't understand how high the price was until Jane Jacobs came along. Jane Jacobs has written a book that advances with the power of a bulldozer against modern city planning and rebuilding. She is the antennae that's picking up something here that no one else is seeing. She believed the city is not about buildings, the city is about people. She was questioning orthodoxy at a time when women were not welcomed in those environments. She was a housewife. That's how they treated her. Try to mess with a bunch of mothers. We were outraged about a road going through Washington Square, and we were going to save Washington Square. Well, you have to pull it through. You've got to do it. The expressway will destroy the neighborhood. I think this awful thing, they're making me sick. It is not right. Jane Jacobs was the most articulate voice of a movement. Please. You have to move a lot of people out of the way of a big housing project. The people who rent, they don't own it. What are they going to do, throw them in the street? After 51 years, I'm citizen and everything. Where was this going to end? Take the money and go away. What would we have left? People have to insist on government trying things their way. <laughs>